Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to set up Linksys RE7350 Wi-Fi 6 range extender. So first plug it into a power source and we recommend you to plug it around 5 to 10 feet away from the router for setup purpose. Once you plug the extender, the LED on the front will blink blue for around 1 minute. Next, you will need to wait for its power LED to start blinking orange. This can usually take around a minute or two after you plug it into a power source. Now there are two methods to set it up. First is via WPS and second is via browser. So if your router supports WPS then you can start with this or try the second browser setup. So for WPS you will first need to press the WPS button present on the router. The WPS button on the router might look something as shown on your screen. Once you press it, you will see a blinking LED on the router. Next, within 2 minutes, press the WPS button present on the side of your Linksys extender. Now, if the LED on the front changes to solid blue, then the WPS setup was successful. Whereas, if it blinks orange, then the connection was not successful. And on successful setup, your Linksys RE7350 extender network name will show up in your Wi-Fi list as your home network SSID with hyphen EXT suffix in the end. Moreover, the Wi-Fi password for this network will be same as your router's Wi-Fi password. Plus, it could be possible that the WPS is disabled on your router. So you will need to log in into your router and enable this feature. Watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. Also, just in case if this setup step is not working for you, then we recommend you to go for the browser setup. So in this too, make sure extender is plugged in into a power source near your router and wait until the LED starts blinking orange. Next, you can use your phone or computer and go to its Wi-Fi list. In the Wi-Fi list, you will find your extender network name showing up. It will come up as Linksys extender setup hyphen some digits. So simply tap on this network to connect to it. Once connected, open a browser and into the URL or address bar type extender.linksys.com or type 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. As you do so, it will open up this extender setup page for you. Once it asks for how you want to use this Wi-Fi extender, then select as range extender mode. Next, you will need to select your router's SSID or network that you want to extend among the list of all the available network and then type its password for verification. Next, follow the on-screen instruction to complete the setup. You can also customize the extender's network name of your choice. During the setup process, once you hit save settings, then within next 30 seconds, you will be able to see new network name showing up in your Wi-Fi list. So you can now try connecting different devices to this Linksys extender network. Moreover, after setup, you can also unplug this extender and place it halfway between your router and the location where you need Wi-Fi connectivity. So once you unplug it and place it at a different location, then you won't have to set it up again just for confirmation letting you guys know. Also, if your extender is not working, then simply reset it to factory default settings and set it up again. You can watch video given in the description to learn how to reset it. Moreover, if you want faster internet speeds from this extender, then we recommend you to set it up in an access point mode. And its setup video is again given in the description. Lastly, if you found this video useful, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you.